Hello, this is Dr. Kay Sweetser from San Diego State University. Today, I want to show you how I use a dashboard when I'm doing data analysis in either Excel or in this case, Google Sheets to help me organize my results and also give me those numbers that I then end up putting in my report. So before I walk you through the dashboard that I've started to create here um, for the survey results that I'm working with, let me tell you a little bit about the survey that is going to serve as the example here. So this is a survey that was done before a PR campaign for an organization called Sparta. And uh, Sparta is a fantastic LGBTQIA um, advocacy group to help advocate for the rights of trans veterans and trans military members. So this particular survey was interested in uh, measuring respondents' knowledge about the rights of trans people. So you can see here we have a three item knowledge scale they repeated that scale a uh, second time, but this time they're asking about the rights of active duty trans military members. So we have a second knowledge scale. They repeated it again, and now we're looking at the knowledge of Sparta as an organization. And then we went in and told people now, okay, this is what Sparta is, this is what they do, now that you've heard that, please answer these questions about your attitude towards Sparta. And so the scales that have been used here are three different iterations of a knowledge scale, knowledge about the rights of trans people, knowledge about the rights of active duty trans military members, knowledge about Sparta, the organization, and then we told them about Sparta and our fourth and final scale is the attitude that people have then toward Sparta. So these four different scales are really what we were trying to understand when we did this survey. But it's not enough just to say, you know what, the knowledge score is a whatever out of five. That's not very helpful at all. And so what I want to know is what people or what group of people in my respondents might have a slightly higher knowledge or lower knowledge or how does knowledge differ between people. And so that is true analysis and that's what you really want to dig in to understand when you're doing data analysis, especially of a pre-campaign survey. And so we asked in this particular survey a lot of different questions that dealt with demographic type things. Some were about where you get your information, um, what kind of groups that you're a part of, um, what your gender is um, and how you identify, uh, what your age is, what your race or ethnicity is, if you're in the military, what is your rank in the military? And then what branch of service are you in? And so these are all demographic questions. And what would be very helpful to Sparta is to understand how these different scales, the three knowledge scales and the attitude scale differ based on some of those demographics. Because maybe Sparta doesn't need to worry about um, letting senior members of the military know about either um, you know rights of a particular group or um, need to worry about the attitude towards Sparta because maybe those folks have it all figured out but the junior members don't so Let's go in and then now that we know a little bit about what the survey is, let me show you where we are. This is my Google Sheets. I've already done the cleaning on the sheet. One thing I will note to you is that I did take some of the uh, demographic questions. And so in particular, I took the demographic question of what is your rank? And I created right next door to it a brand new variable called rank cohort. And in that, I actually said people who were um, E1 through E5 are gonna be, be classified as junior enlisted members, E6 through E9 were senior enlisted service members, 
01 through 04 became junior officers and 05 through 010 became senior officers. And so essentially I created a brand new logic variable based on what they told me I then went over in next door into my new blank, newly created variable, and I categorized those people based on what their rank was. Okay, so here's my dashboard. The first thing that I wanted to know was, was really, you know, where are we on these numbers? So I can see that trans rights knowledge is pretty uh, middle of the road here, right? 3.21 out of five. Military trans rights knowledge was 2.79. Knowledge of Sparta was the lowest of all of these groups. Nobody knew what Sparta was. However, when we told them about what Sparta was and then we asked them about their attitude, the attitude did come up to a pretty moderate level where um, it's a 3.76, so that is still technically neither agree nor disagree is typically what people chose. However, it's starting to trend toward a four, which would be that people would agree with those positive statements that were made. Um, so I'm on a brand new sheet in here, and the way that I um, put these numbers in here, I'm actually pulling from my cleaned data. So if I were to add data in on cleaned data, all I would have to do is in this formula, let's say I added in four more people. I would just update this to go from K3 through instead of K91, I'd now make it go through K95. And that would update my overall uh, scale index score. So it is helpful for me to see where I'm at with these numbers. But then I actually do need to go in and I need to start to create pivot tables. And so we all we know how to create a pivot table. Um, I'll come down here and create a brand new pivot table for uh, let's let's go ahead and do branch because branch is not in here yet. So to create a pivot table, we just click up here in the corner and it is going to be in Google Sheets. It's going to be insert pivot table. I'm gonna tell it where I want it to go. I could do a new sheet. However, I'm starting to make my dashboard uh, really nice and pretty over here. So I'm gonna to go to an existing sheet. I'm gonna click on this right here, the select data range. And then it's gonna say, where do you wanna put this? Well, I wanna put this over on the dashboard sheet. So I'll click on dashboard and I'll go ahead and put it right here. And so when I press okay, and then I press create, it's going to create that pivot table right here. So I said I was gonna do military branch as my rows, I'll bring them up as rows, and then I'm going to do my um, uh, scale indices and put the values in here. So trans knowledge was the first one, I'll add that to values. Transmill was the second one, I'll add that to values. And then Transparta, that was the, the Sparta knowledge. I'll add that in here. It is still on counting. I don't want it to be on count. I want it to be on average. So let's go ahead and change these all now to average. So this is gonna give me a score out of five, an average score out of five. And then I do see I have like some weirdness going on in here and that's because I've got blanks and I've also got some answers that I really don't want in here. So I'm gonna to go to filters and I'm going to add a filter on the, on the variable branch. And then instead of showing all the items, I'm gonna turn off blanks and I'm gonna turn off the questions that I don't wanna see on here. And now I have a much prettier table. I am also going to turn off totals because I don't think that the totals are really helpful. Really the totals that I care about are these totals up here. And so one of the things that I've started to do for myself is actually add these numbers, repeat them again down here so that I can have an idea of how people are doing. And notice how in the, this is just me being OCD, um, how I've given each 
um, scale its own different uh, color delineation in here. I'm actually repeating that so that I'm constantly reminding myself um, what these different scales mean in here. Um, all right, so uh, the first scale was um, knowledge of trans rights. And so if I wanna call on that number, um, you don't have to do this, but I like to do this. I'm gonna press equal sign and then I'm gonna come up here and I'm just gonna press right in this cell. And so whatever is in B4 is now gonna be down in that B46 um, cell. I press enter and there it is, great. I'm gonna give it a nice little color code and I'm gonna do the same thing next door. Um, so now I can see the, um, the average uh, scale index score for the rights of trans military members um, just as a visual to give me an idea if uh, these people are lower or higher than the average. So I'm gonna call upon that number at the top and I'm gonna press equals. I'm gonna go to the number that I want, which is this one right here. I put my cursor and I got the dancing ants in B5. I see that it's going to then populate in C46 and press enter and there it is. I'm gonna give it my color code just because I am OCD. And then the last one, I am going to pull it right there and I'm going to give it my color code, which is green. So where do these numbers come from? These numbers again are coming from the cleaned data and as you can see, it's the average of on the cleaned data sheet, the cells from K3 to K91. Let's go in here, clean data, K3 through K91. So that's the average for this brand new index that I had created. Okay, so I now have my fancy um, little uh, numbers here and I can see, well, the average knowledge of uh, the rights of trans people is 3.21, but look at this, people um, who took this uh, survey who are in the Air Force have a, a really below average knowledge uh, the Army is below average, but you know, definitely not as much as the um, uh, Air Force. Coast Guard's doing really good. They have a higher than average knowledge of the rights of trans people. Marine Corps is pretty low. Um, the Navy is uh, higher than average. I don't know why it says Marine Corps and Navy in there. That's interesting. I'd have to figure that out. Um, let's just ignore that guy and the way that we ignore that particular one is turning it off right there. Boom, now we just have Navy and um, we see that the Navy has an average knowledge of the rights of trans people. When it comes to the rights of um, trans uh, military members, Air Force is again low, Army high, um, the people, the respondents who were in the Coast Guard, definitely above average here, and uh, Marine Corps below average, and then the Navy folks who took the survey were above average. All right, so on and so forth. So this is a better understanding for Sparta of who they need to focus their campaigns on. So just saying that that knowledge is one of these three numbers, depending on which knowledge it is you're trying to show, just giving this is not helpful, but giving a pivot table like this and putting it on your dashboard helps the client understand when you write this up in a report or create a presentation for the client, helps the client understand we really need to focus on people in the Air Force and people in the Marine Corps. Um, let's try to understand what's happening in the Navy because the Navy um, respondents are higher than average and they're pretty high in this group overall. Let's try to understand what's happening in the Coast Guard because across the board, the people in the Coast Guard who took this survey were the highest with regard to knowledge in here. So 
This will help you um, give a clearer picture of what's happening on your indices, on those concepts that you wanted to measure for your client. Um, this will help you uh, explain to your client what's happening within their target publics. All right. So the next thing I wanna do is show you some, some of the things that you can do would be to like create a, um, a chart to go along with it as well. So I'm gonna do a chart on, this was a logic variable that I created where I basically categorized an answer to a question and I said, okay, based on that, how people answered that question, either they were put into the I'm involved with the issue of trans rights issue or I'm not involved. So I'm gonna highlight this pivot table that I made in the same way that I made the pivot table I just showed you and I'm going to insert a chart. So it makes a chart but I am not happy with how the chart looks and I want the chart to be more on brand with my um, with the color coding that I have here. So the first thing that I see is it's not really helpful to have my chart um, set up where I have involved versus um, uninvolved, where I wanna actually see it in the other way, right? I mean, maybe you wanna see it this way, but if you don't, let's go ahead and switch rows and columns. Okay, so now I see involved people overall have higher um, knowledge than not involved people. Great, and I see them grouped in here. Um, let's go ahead and go uh, one by one to see how we can um, change this particular chart. Okay, so we've already done the switching the roles. I'm gonna click on customize and the chart style. I'm fine with the chart style. Um, the chart title, um, I'm gonna call this uh, knowledge index scores based on involvement with trans rights issue. Great. So I've now changed the title so that it's a little bit better to understand what is happening in here. Okay, so now I have my series. I'm actually gonna click data labels and notice now we have uh, the, the numbers for these groups appear here. So involved for um, no, knowledge of trans people is being pulled right from here. It's a 3.57 and a 3.57 showed up there. Fantastic. Um, the legend, uh, I can um, position my legend anywhere I want. Um, I like it at the top, it works well for me there, but I could put it in a different place if I wanted to. Okay, so here we are with the horizontal um, axis. I'm okay with how these labels are on here. I could, I could put them at a slant or I could keep them as they are now. I'm happy with that. The vertical axis, this was all measured on a five point scale. And so when I have it from zero to four, instead of from one to five, it, it's gonna be difficult for the person who's looking at it to understand um, the number that, that they're taking in. So I'm gonna change this from a, a minimum of one to a maximum of five, and that's gonna give me a better view of really where these people are with regard to their, um, their uh, knowledge. And then I can also put in ticks if I want or, or not. Um, I, if I wanna turn the colors um, to match my little color coding over here. I can click on the color um, and let's see, I wanna get it in. Okay, so notice I'm in series and notice I have the blue highlighted and so I'll change my fill color to pink. I can then move this to the red and I can change the red to the blue and then in series again I'm going to find that yellow and I'm going to change what it automatically did is yellow and I'm going to change it to green 
if I wanted to change these labels in here, like notice how in this graph, I've actually um, made the labels a little bit easier to understand. I can do that by clicking in, double clicking and either typing in here, or I can go and I can type it on this little sidebar pop-up that came up here. And I wanna be consistent, so I'm gonna call this trans rights knowledge. And then this is going to be military trans rights knowledge. And then this is going to be Sparta knowledge. Excellent. And so now I have a awesome uh, graph that repeats the information in here, but maybe helps me better understand how things are moving um, visually. So you can understand, you or you can make the decisions based on um, whether you want to just have pivot tables or, or whether a graph is going to be helpful for you or not. Um, as you can see, I've added in uh, here a reminder of what the overall mean was before I start to break down that mean based on group. And sometimes there are so many groups that it isn't really understandable what the data is telling me. So rank, that isn't really helpful for me to see um, the knowledge index score for every single rank of every single person who took this survey. So I created a new variable, a logic variable from the rank um, item where they told me the rank. I then took their answer and I created a new category system of junior enlisted, junior officer, senior enlisted, senior officer and that better helped me. Notice how the folks who are more um, senior tend to have uh, a little bit more knowledge um, in these areas. Not always, um, junior officers are, are definitely um, you know, making strides here, but uh, this gives me an idea of where then I can tell my organization to focus. So you would continue to go through as many of your demographic variables as possible, understanding that you might have to do some, um, cl some more cleaning of your demographic variables and you might have to do um, some creation of new variables based on whatever variables you have available to you, but really start to take that second level deeper as you are doing your analysis of your survey and then you take the information from here where your data has been cut into these different ways and from here this is what you present to your client to help them better reach their target publics so I hope you have a wonderful time doing your data analysis and creating your beautiful dashboards and researching and making the world a better place.